Let's do something that keeps me warm. Yo, bro. This is a special axe, the VP Curvis axe, and it's designed so that wood splits more easy. I use this old tire to prevent the wood from flying all over the place. This can easily ricochet off the wood. Just a little precaution. This is how we dry the wood. Do you see the smoke? Almost 60 degrees inside this compost heap. This is how it should be. This weather reminds me of a game that I played when I was a little boy with my neighbor. I did the puzzles and he did the shooting and the killing because I couldn't do it. I was too scared. But this weather doesn't feel like horror. It feels really calm, soothing. Everything is grounded. My thoughts are grounded too. There's much peace outside. Kelly is doing some yoga. I'm a lucky boy. <laughs> You know what really sucks? When your music doesn't play. Bad contact and the wires. This week I'm gonna show you how I repair my music. Just having myself some fun at the beach. <laughs> That's next week and I'm gonna be a lifeguard at this event. I'm getting cold very fast. I'm gonna do it. So I'm taking down this announcement that we're gonna build. It only has to hang out for one month and uh, yeah, it's fast. There's one thing that's really annoying and that's when your headphones don't work as good as they should. Crackling noise, one ear that doesn't work. You can't choose the next song with the remote control. These are really great headphones but the plug is broken. I repaired it very often already but I stopped doing it because these uh, plugs that you can buy in the shop are too big. The only plugs that work in this life proof are the originals from Apple. So I stopped listening with headphones and I started listening with plugs, but these plugs are also broken. So I'm gonna try to mix it up. Normally you don't use paper for this, but... Have you ever tried to solder this headphone wire? It really is. I have a new headphone. 
said, no, I have an old headphone that works again. And I have a remote control. <laughs> it doesn't look so professional, but it sounds professional. That's what matters, right? I was planning to do three, but I'm gonna leave it with one. I'm on my way to the shop. I need some organic carrots because Gizmo, the little dog, you know her from the previous vlogs, she's not so well. We don't give her regular food anymore. We cook her food, so we use rice, organic carrots, chicken. Chicken feels weird. We don't prepare meat for ourselves. So I always feel a little bit guilty when I go to the shop and uh, get some meat, you know? So there's a storm coming tomorrow and they are preparing the beach and the coast for the impact because it's gonna be huge, so they say. The New Year's dive is also postponed. This is gonna be one of the critical points over there that will be closed down tomorrow. Two years ago there was a huge storm. Uh, it was not so huge but it was also spring tides and there was a lot of wind. They predicted the storm but it wasn't a storm. I was here at night when the, <laughs> the tide was high and the water came out of this pit and it came this high, it was like a fountain, you know? But only for a couple of minutes and then the tide turned and uh, yeah. So <laughs> that was the most spectacular thing that I saw that night. These are some of the works that they did exactly for this kind of weather that you're gonna have to, the last time they had to evacuate this whole uh, area of the city because they were afraid that the water was gonna flow into the lower parts of Bredene. No trespassing for bikers and pedestrians dangerous storm tide. I guess cars are, are okay. <laughs> Maybe I should bring the car. Just kidding. I don't think so. I run like more than 10k. Normally I run like four because... But right now, yeah, the storm really got me motivated to yeah, do a run around town. And now I'm gonna finish it off with some yoga because I always feel stiff when I come back from a run Namaste. We expect much rain this evening, this night, and we have to move the goats to another stable. So there is a lot of wind but not a storm and the water is pretty high but not so high. Oh I got a guilt trip. Feels so bad. I just feel heavy. I keep breathing, I keep breathing. The reason why I think it is so stupid. I try to do my best. I try to help everybody, everyone that I can. 
but still I have the feeling that I don't exactly do in my job what I'm supposed to be doing you know I don't see one single motivation to do it the only motivation that I feel is fear and I'm so struggling I'm so resisting everything that motivates me out of fear so I have two options now I think maybe three I can just let it pass but somehow I think this is something that will never truly pass until I search for a solution second thing I can do is I can quit I can quit and I can say something for me or I can try to find a motivation that is not fear but if you're driven by fear how can you search for a solution that's not fear I don't know I just feel oh, heavy man heavy my heart is heavy and I know when I would say that to somebody I'm sure they would never understand it so yeah I'm just talking I wanted to give a big shout out to all SoundCloud users who make amazing music and let other people use it for free you're the best guys thank you very much I really appreciate it it's like one of the main reasons that I keep on vlogging because I like your music so much and I really like to edit on the music if you're interested in the music that I use in my vlog definitely check out the link below this video to my SoundCloud playlist you see come come here music is really a one big part of my life I really love music. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you later. Peace.